so many miraculous things and so many things that the writer of St. John said, even all the books in the world could not contain all the miracles and the many things that he did. Okay? But yet, but yet, he chose to perform his very first miracle at a wedding. Yes? Wedding, no wedding. Amen. And so that's the significance for us being here to celebrate with our son and our daughter their union together. Is that okay? Yes. And, and, you know, I want to bring out another point of the importance of marriage. You know, marriage, whether you know it or not, is the only grace given by God where you can have sexual intimacy and yet have his grace upon your life. It's the only institution that allows that. Come on, we gotta say amen. 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 All right, come on, let's praise him. So, you know, this evening what I wanna do, uh, I wanna lead this couple, this beautiful couple into uh, Holy Communion. And Holy Communion in and of itself speaks of an introspection of what God has done in your life and an outward look on what he's going to do in your life. Okay? So I'm going to have them to uh, go with me with the Holy Communion. What I'm going to do, I'm going to invoke the Lord's presence. Father God, in that name is above all names. I thank you for this wonderful opportunity we have with these two lovely people. Father God, as they make, Lord, legal, Lord, what you've already done for them. Marriages are made in heaven, but listen, you got to work it out here on earth. Is that right? So, Father God, I thank you for Darius and Shalisha and their marriage union. Amen? Amen. And so Jesus, uh, he's inviting all of us every day to let him be in our lives every day. He wants his presence to be known in our lives. And so I'm reminded in the Bible, in the book of Matthew, when Jesus was recounting all the wickedness that was done on the earth during the time of Noah, and when he recounted it, he only recounted a few things that was going on. He said, when I come back again, it's going to be the same way it was as in the days of Noah. He says they were eating, he said they were drinking, they were marrying, and they were taken into marriage, given into marriage, until Noah entered into the ark. And then the flood came. Okay? Now I would like for you to think with me through this. What's wicked about eating and drinking when it's done in moderation? Nothing, right? Yet our Lord said they were eating and drinking until the time that Noah got dark. Then he said they were marrying and giving their children into marriage until Noah got into the ark. Well, that can't be wicked because you're honoring the covenant of God when he set forth in the beginning for a man and a woman to become one. It says, therefore, shall a man leave his mother and father and shall cleave to his wife and the two of them shall be one. So that could be the wickedness that he spoke of. Things were wicked in and of itself. I believe because he wasn't invited. He wasn't invited in their everyday living. He wasn't invited in their marriage. He wasn't invited. Even when parents were giving their children into marriage. So that's the important. that I like to lead with this couple. That in everything you do in your activity, invite God in. Don't take it for granted. In fact, God is the unseen guest at every dinner table. He wants you to invite him in. In the, what you call the small things, God calls in the big things because he wants to be involved. The love of God it shares intimacy with us on every day. So as you go into this intimate union together, make sure you invite the Lord in whatever you do. Is that okay? Spirit, enable both of you to live life together, to live life in harmony, to live life to be a showcase for others as a young couple in the name of the Lord. Amen? Amen. And we ask this in the name that's above all names, in Jesus' name, let everyone say, Amen. Amen. Come on. Darius and Shalisha.
So I pronounce that God will look favorably upon your union. May the Lord be gracious to you. That's simple. May the Lord be kind to you. Even in your tough times, even in your challenges, God's grace, God's mercy, and it will be upon your life. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you. Amen. In other words, may you always experience and know the presence of the Lord. The psalmist said, in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And then lastly, may the Lord give you peace. We interpret peace uh, as cessation from chaos. But the early Hebraic writings were actually hieroglyph hieroglyphics. And in the Hebrew language, every letter is a sentence. And so the original meaning of peace is this, he bravely, may the very authority of chaos be destroyed in your life. That's what God's desire is for your union, for your marriage, for your children, for your children's children. And that's my desire and everyone's desire in this room. So we bless you in Jesus' name. Very good. All right. Yes, sir. Boston, would you like to come up and say something? Darius's mother, did you want to? I don't want to put nobody on the spot. I am so excited just about um, Darius. I, I, I had mixed feelings, you know, because this is my baby. That makes sense. Yeah, I know. I don't know how I feel when you, when you like, your baby is leaving. This is my baby. Uh, and so I said, my baby is leaving. It's time for him to leave and quit. And I'm so excited for him on this time because it's just time for your, your next journey. The journey that you're going on now is, that's right. uh, is a is a new journey that's gonna that's gonna bless your life for the rest of your life. And so that's I'm right. so excited for you and all that is um, going on and all that's happening. I, I appreciate just. Um, your focus, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited that your focus is on God, amen? And so uh, it's a blessing to know that no matter what, that we are, we have to be focused on what is God saying to us in every season of our life? And, 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 I, and I appreciate you and all that you all, um, just even over the last year, how, how it was always, what, 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 this is what God is saying. This is what God is doing. This is what God is leading us to. And so I want you to keep that focus throughout because that's that's what's going to keep you. As, as your mom was saying, she said, it was a it's a contract. I always say it's a covenant. That's it's it. a covenant, that's you know, that's because it. the big deal is, is that, you know, me working in real estate, I'm like, when you get a contract, guess what? You can cancel that thing. Huh. Like, I'm out of here. All right. <laughs> yeah. But when you got a covenant. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Watch yourself. Oh, my word. Watch yourself. <laughs> God made a covenant with us, and, and he never broke it. And just, just and even as you all are here, and there's times to do that, like like Apostle said, there's gonna be some times when you just don't feel like doing, you don't feel like doing each other, you know. You just take your take, get your breather, and move on, and just be able to to know that okay, this ain't a good time. Let's just be friends right now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It might not be that moment of just that hug me and squeeze me and kiss me, but there might be a time when you just have to be friends and, and let that time be, you know, brief. <laughs> Love each other. Yeah. Love is the key to all of this. Love is the key. And if you can keep love in your relationship, you can overcome anything. That's right. And so I want to let you know all know that I love you. Uh, I wanted to, to have your brother say something. I have to call him, but he really wants to say something. He couldn't make it tonight. He's he's still in New Mexico, but <laughs> but it was such an awesome. T I'm, I'm excited about this journey because this journey is different. This this journey is completely different. A year ago, we were looking at each other and we were like, like what are we finna do? <laughs> you know, remember that? Remember that? Yeah, but let, a year ago we had a lot going on, but God is so grateful. He is so 
awesome. And so I appreciate everything that you all are doing. You, uh, never forget if you, if you um, I know that you have your license, but if you need a real estate agent, I said, we're going to work together. <laughs> we're going to get that thing to going. we got to get her, her started so she can definitely start breaking down some, making some big dollars. And so we're excited. God is so good. He's so rich. I guess I got something to say, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's your um, stage. I know um, when we started getting to the point where we began to talk about marriage and everything, I... I was like, well, maybe I should take a deep dive and start studying a lot on that. <laughs> Get as much knowledge as possible. Um, but one thing that stood out for me was uh, one of the books that I read. Um, it had a quote in it from a guy by the name of Matthew Henry. And the quote that he had said, woman is not made for man's, uh, for man, from man's head to rule over him nor out of his feet to be trampled by him, but out of his side to be equal to him, under his arm to be protected by him, and near his heart to be beloved by him. And through all of my, all of the books and everything that I've read, and all of the different, you know, different types of uh, knowledge that I was pulling from, that was, I was like, well, that kind of sums it up. <laughs> Summed up pretty much all of it. Um, and um, thank you. I, that's all I got to say for right now. All right. Coach, coach, bring on the coach. Coach, well, thank you. Motivate. Wow. <laughs> That's Pastor Church. Yeah. All right. Oh, DJ. <laughs> this is a blessing to have you guys in holy matrimony. Amen. Marriage is a marathon and not a race. All right. I'm just going to quickly read a uh, wedding blessing. Um, the author of this is by Dave Willis. A marriage blessing. May your marriage always bring glory to God, joy to one another, and blessings to your families and many generations to come. May love and laughter fill your hearts and your home throughout all the days of your lives. May your face Every challenge, hand in hand and side by side, never leave each other. God's grace, you will conquer all obstacles together. May the world be forever a better place because the two of you fell in love. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. say is I'm just proud of my uncle, you know, I never thought that this would ever happen, but you know, but you know, I don't mean it, I don't mean it in a disrespectful way now, I don't mean it in a disrespectful way now, you know, but you know, but, but you know, um, God has a plan for everybody in this room. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, at the end of the day, I'm proud, I'm proud of him, everybody. And everybody's proud of him, and you know this is just a, a huge accomplishment. This is just a, a next step, a next step into a, a whole a whole new realm where everyone comes. But um, honestly, what I can say about your marriage is is always going to be protected by God. And oh, today, I love her. She's going to love you. Wow! There you go, nephew. Hi, I'm Ashley. I am um, Darius's oldest sister. Um, the oldest one. The sad. 
Um, but Darius has always gotten away with everything. Oh. So, oh. I must say, uh -huh. say she's telling on you. Yes. Okay. Um, I have, and sometimes, and I don't think he really understands this. I'm super overprotective over my brother. My, this is my baby brother. So if anything happens, I go from one to a hundred real fast. <laughs> like period. So, um, and I will always be like that until I leave the bed. Even in spirit, I might come back and get you. But there it is. I um, I am proud of you for taking a step that. Um, over the years, you said that you would never do, and you didn't trust um, a lot of people in, in some of the situations that you had went through that you don't think I know, but I do. And I'm glad that you have overcame those fears that you had. And even the trauma that you still deal with um, in your overcoming daily just know that you have your backbone. And strong men and, and smart men don't, they have a backbone. Like, we're the smart ones, we're the brains <laughs> of the operation. So, uh, just know when you have, when you need someone, if you need to talk to someone, she's the person that you need to go to, okay? And Charlisha, in the beginning, I was I was afraid. I was like, hold on, now you taking my brother, I'm gonna have to come at you real quick. <laughs> but it was my brother, you know what I mean? And I had always, it was always something that I had to protect. And for him to say, no, I'm gonna marry you. I'm gonna marry her because I love her. It showed a lot. And even in him, like, just saying, hey, I'm going to go out, I'm going to do this, I'm going to go to the grocery store and shop for my house. It was crazy. It was unbelievable. So it, I knew that you could really help him and even still grow until this day. Just know this marriage is something that is great. Okay? And we are always here for you. Um, and even if you don't want to talk, you still need to answer your phone. Regardless. <laughs> and um, just know, Charlene, so he has his moments when he's real nonchalant. Okay? I'm talking about nonchalant when you need to have him at 100, and he's like, okay, yeah, sure. He's listening. And believe me, when you don't feel like he's listening, he hears you, he understands. And even if he doesn't feel like he understands you, he'll be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. He hears everything. Okay, and he sometimes it takes him a little while to process some things and understand what needs to be done, but just know he's not ignoring you. Okay, and I love, I love you. Too. I love you. I'm gonna say, for the longest time I've known you, Darius, you're my main man. You got my back in a lot of places that my people didn't have my back in. I appreciate that. I'm glad you finally found your other half, and have your back. And I just want you guys to know, if you're sick of them, I have your back too. I appreciate everything you've done for me, and I hope I can be there for you guys, and there you guys will be fine. Say hi to all the new family members, you know. I hope that I can be helping y'all with everybody you too. Yes, I feel like you. We have this little relationship. Okay. So, that's why I have to say, I just want to let you know I love you. Oh, I'm a girl. Right now. We should have did this before we ate. I'm so glad to be here and to just be another arm of support. There's many of us out here. We all got your back. Don't feel like you have to do anything alone. We better start a prayer chain because we'll take a lot of prayer. 
just to, you know, stay focused. Amen. But um, the scripture that comes to mind is, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Uh -huh. All these things shall be added. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is not one thing that's impossible. There is not any, there's nothing that is too hard for God. So y'all better set up a, a, a dream board and start dreaming because there is no limit. There's no sky to what God wants to do with, with you guys. That's right. Because he's right there in between y'all. All around you and surround you. So you two are never alone. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Love you two very much. All right? Thank you for having us. I know. Jamal, you don't have any words? Okay, Jante? I'm recording. You walk to the I Yeah, I just wanted to explain this box. All right. Yeah, she's going to explain the box. Later. I thought this was a really cute idea. Um, so it's mainly for the adults, but if there's an extra, the kids can have one as well. But inside this box, uh -huh. uh, you have like little treats and chocolates and things and stuff like that. And also a little beyond grateful. Thank you for everybody coming out. But if you see this little clear little pocket, little thing, envelope. envelope. So I wanted kind of the theme to be grow in love. So if you open up the little envelope, it, it has instructions. And also it gives you kind of some knowledge on where this little heart paper came from. But this little heart paper actually has seeds on it and it's shaped like a heart. So if you put it in a pot with dirt and if you add water and give it sun, it will grow into a plant. So I thought that was cute, you know, we grew it, we So, just wanted to explain that, but thank you all for coming out, I appreciate it. You can check out the other plate. It does not say the type of plant, but it did come from Washington. But thank you all for coming out. We're going to go ahead and cut the cake. Okay. Woo, woo. Yeah.